of the fantastic land of Chattanooga Public Library, hereby cordially invites you to a LARP. Wait a minute, what's a LARP? So what is a LARP? Well, I'm so glad you asked. My name is Courtney and I'm with the Chattanooga Public Library. I'm starting a new series here on our YouTube called Library LARP. And over the next several programs, we're not only gonna learn what a LARP is, but we're going to learn how to create a character for one and a costume and even hold our own online LARP together. I am so excited about it and I can't wait to get started. So let's go back to that original question. Um, what exactly is a LARP? Well, LARP, L-A-R-P, stands for Live Action Role Play, and it's basically a huge game of pretend. It can be very detailed and elaborate, or it can be pretty simple. Imagine uh, the games you used to play when you were younger, or if you're older now, uh, remember those fantastic games of pretend you used to play? Uh, my friends and I used to pretend we had discovered a new continent, you know, back when uh, you could be a pirate that was searching for treasure or a wizard that was watching over their land or a fighter that was protecting their kingdom from fierce, large beasts. No, white ferocious beasts. I have, I have defeated you. Look at, look at how ferocious he's, he's not anymore because I defeated him. So when we talk about LARP or live action role play, that's essentially what it is, a big game of pretend. It's people getting together and acting out stories and adventures. It's creating characters and costumes and telling a story together. There are very elaborate versions of LARPing where entire communities get together for an entire weekend and they have a whole little town set up with tents and they spend the night and they stay in character all weekend and then there are much smaller versions where friends get together with costumes and fake props and get together and act out a scene for an afternoon so there are three things that make larping a little different than just getting out in your yard and playing pretend and according to larping.org those three things are pretend collaboration, and rules. So the pretend part, I think we have down. The rules part, we're gonna learn more about as we go along. As I tell you about each different part of our LARP, I'll let you know what the rules for that are. The cool thing about rules in LARP is that they're more about letting you know what you can do within the world instead of just telling you what not to do. And third, it has to be collaborative, meaning you need other people to run a LARP. Um, except for the fierce wild beast, I'm here by myself. Um, a lot of people are stuck at home because of COVID-19. Makes it kind of hard to run a LARP, huh? However, one of the coolest things I've seen come out of this virus is the way that people continue to connect over video. So that's what we're going to do. We are not going to let a virus stop us from having our LARP. No way. Right, Fierce Wild Beast? Fierce Wild Beast is getting hot. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go give him a, a drink of water. But before we do, let me assure you that we're going to have our own LARP right here online. Our next episode is going to be about creating a character. So if you have uh, ever been in a LARP or uh, have thought about joining a LARP, tell me about it down in the YouTube comments below and join us next time where we will start working on our characters for our online LARP. Here is some ferocious beast outtake footage. <laughs> it is decidedly bedtime and he thinks it's playtime. Yes, ferocious beast. Look at that ferocious beast. 